Hello everyone, this is the summit of Yasur. So I said I'd do a video from near the summit. So this is as close as I'm happy to get uh, without um, putting myself in danger. I've got to be careful to keep an eye on what's going on. That's why Tanuka's there keeping an eye on the activity. So these thrombolian explosions which happen out of this near crater here, they can throw material up really high into the sky and it's important that we track where those pieces go. So I've got lots of um, video of the location. You might have even seen a shock wave there and you can see the material maybe above Tanuka flying up in the air. And she's keeping an eye on where those bits of material are going um, because they can come up and land on some of the terrace areas which are, which are below this. So this is just a little bit of a, an introduction to where the summit is. So this is the gas plume that we can see coming out. We can see a lot of ash come out which is associated with that Stromboli explosion. And what we're trying to do from the, uh, from the flanks of the volcano is measure this gas plume to see if we can differentiate between what's coming out normally. Um, so the volcano is releasing gas, whether it's uh, producing a Stromboli explosion or not, um, and whether we can differentiate between that and, and the Stromboli explosions. Um, so after this section of the video, what I'll do is I'll put a load of um, videos up and I'll put some of my talking over the top so I can tell you a little bit more about the activity up here, so there are two main crater areas, the left hand side and the right hand side. Um, I, sorry, I don't know the exact names of these, um, but the right hand side, they're in some of the papers, I'll probably read them a bit more thoroughly, but the right hand side has some, is characterized by some very ash rich explosions, and those explosions seem to be more vigorous whilst we're here, so we're not going over that side at all. Um, and the left hand side, um, we just spoke to another colleague that's um, up here working with us, um, Julia, and she said that there are uh, five or six of the vents um, on the, in sort of the left hand side of the crater area. And uh, we managed to see four or five the other day, and we kind of knew that there, was, that there were some other um, vents in this side. Um, looks really spectacular at night time, so I'll put some of those videos in. Anyhow, see you soon. Getting to a good vantage point to see the activity, it's just a short walk around the crater rim. During the day, peering into the crater, the activity is intense, a mixture of swirling gas and ash, punctuated by the rapid ejection of bombs. By night, the activity is simply awe-inspiring, the mixture of multiple vents and incandescent material, which is rapidly expelled by the bursting bubbles, creates a truly unique viewing experience. So, here you go. Enjoy! 